This is for all the hardcore drug dealers out there. Truth is, I don't know how you hide behind the lies that let you sleep at night. Taking advantage of another man's unfortunate plight. Cause to you, he has no face. Such a total lack of grace in your fast money chase. Feeding him all that meth, crack, or ecstasy to distort his dreams while misdirecting his destiny. With no shame in your treacherous game. Flexing like you had a legit claim to some imaginary fame. You think you got it going on, but you're being used like a chess played pawn. Picked by the drug lords to destroy the poor and keep neighborhoods weak. Nothing more than a strained puppet in this vicious game you seek. How can you sleep at night doing that to that young mother of one, two, or three? Knowing she's just another victim of her own educational starvation. Stuffing narcotics in her hand without any hesitation. Got her mind so dazed out from that chemical sensation. She'd do anything for it out of pure desperation. Just to get hold of some of that addictive temptation to help quiet her growing frustration. So she can buy a one-way ticket to a blanked out vacation. How can you sleep at night? It wasn't about the rocks you flung or the pebbles you slung or the late night deals committed, the lives destroyed or families evicted, the countless fiends strung out, sold out, restricted and afflicted. No, it's about the perpetuation of the genocidal tendencies that have helped erase the nation while representing such an unholy salvation supplied by government-backed corporations. Even knowing that the conscience was funded by the CIA won't get you to change your evil ways. And the DEA, hell, they ain't got shit on them. Ask the Central and South Americans. Because that's who they pay to keep you hustling each and every day. Employed by the Ochas, the Escobars, and the Metal Lane cartels. And you serve them up so very well. Another agency plot that was planned this way to ensure that poor people never see the light of day or eventually even arrive. D O A. So they'll put you in rotation to rape the community and eradicate its people. They already know you'll end up broke, in jail, or a dead man. Because that's how your retirement is planned. So keep on trying to be a street corner entrepreneur, and you'll see what goes around, comes back around, and what you did to mine will be done to yours. Yeah, I like to know how you sleep at night if you can see me put that poison in the hands of your mother or your sister. So many times until their teeth fall out and their hands are covered in sores and blisters. Time and time again until they cross their family, burn their bridges and lose their friends. Seeing your mother lose 60 pounds or your sister get used and abused by these fake ass clowns. Watching as they shrivel up and sell all they possess. Begging and bombing, skid row slumming with a total lack of finesse. Would I still be your brother? Would I still be your friend? Would I still be your homie through the thick and the thin? How can you sleep at night, acting as though everything was alright, knowing you were being used in this one-way homicidal fight to destroy the weak-minded while enriching the rich like a desperate little crackhead snitch, with no second thoughts about the aftermath that is left in the trail of a grisly, slimy, bloody death, or the shame that is painted on the lives that you tainted. Don't you see what you're doing to them is really happening to you? Just on another level with a different twist. Got you chasing that ballless bliss. Got you selling your soul like it was your ass sliding down a pole. A tool in the war on poverty. You've become an undercover special ops assassin. A on the DL sellout trader void of any compassion. Now I hope you don't feel a certain way about this. But if you do, then I must ask, how the hell can you sleep at night?